Hi Sci-Fi Jeff. Um, this is Imperial Digital or what you can see in here. Um, I just thought I'd make a little film um, just showing you a rough mix I've got of um, Sexy Robot. There's some of Jeff's stuff's on there but it's not all perfectly in time yet. Uh, and uh, there's some of Jeff's stuff not on there yet. Uh, Mick hasn't done anything on it yet. So it's, re it's really a very rough uh, idea of where we are at the moment, so here it is. There we have it, uh, that's a, a rough mix so far. Hope you enjoyed that and there'll be more to come. We got black shirt, the purple tie. Uh, I've got, yeah. Well, the purple tie is a bit of a struggle, but I, I, I've got a nice smart tie. I think it'll, you know. But we've got to do this 12 foot close up thing as well. And I'm, I, I keep meaning to do it, but, you know. Well, should we do it? I'll just borrow your shirt. Oh God, I don't, I don't expect you to find a black oh, shirt in tonight. Yeah. You've got a black shirt, haven't you? Oh, I'll have to go and get one. Oh, you fucking... Oh God! Oh. Fucking hell! Fuck! Oh, black shirt. What are we going to do? You must have a black shirt. Yeah. Hi lads, uh, I just I thought I'd, what I'd do is um, maybe just go through a track um, and see, uh, just show you the process uh, of what I do when I get a track off Sav and uh, and just see how it develops from the start to uh, to the finish. So first off, I get a a basic track from uh, Sav. In this case, it's Velvet and She. And uh, I sort of load it in to WaveLab, uh, which allows me to uh, improve the sound a little bit. That's the basic track that I got from Sav. And what I do initially is normalize the track, which brings it at the loudest point up to um, maximum level. Now uh, once that's done, I'll transfer it on to the multi-track. Now I route the uh, the track through the Aphex Aural Exciter, which is this thing here. And what this does is actually boost harmonics uh, and uh, and loudness without distorting. And that way. I can put it onto the multi-track which is here. So I have the basic tracks down with, uh, with, with Sav's tracks um, and then it comes down to putting some thinking about what I'm going to add to it. Um, and we've got mixed bass here, which uh, <laughs> now that's 
mixed bass now um, we sat and worked out a, a little harmony run that, that comes in and out on mixed bass and we added that on as well and this is what they sound like together some uh, what's called pads which are uh, a long keyboard sounds uh, and I put some on the verse so it's like a, a churchy sort of sound for the verse and then that sounds like this with the uh, with the subs backing track. So that's that. What I've done on the uh, chorus is a similar sound, but a little bit more harsh. Sort of a, a slightly uh, shinier sound. I've added a, just a single piano bass note, which sort of helps speed the uh, speed the track along a bit. Oh. Sort of boost the bottom end. Now I've added. So, uh, I'm working on some piano at the moment to go uh, in the breaks, and that's on three and four. That's mixed in. This is it all together. So there we have it, that's uh, 
basically how I put together the tracks and obviously there's a lot more work to do on Velvet and She uh, and Jeff hasn't done anything on it yet so it's a long way from completion but th this is how uh, the process works and uh, that's how it's done Hi this is uh, what I intend to be a video diary for the making of uh, Electro Sex Boogie I thought I'd get in right at the start and just uh, show the whole process from beginning to end. Uh, the first thing I've done is obviously loaded it into WaveLab. I've normalised it. Uh, and the pro first problem I had was uh, there's like a four bar drum uh, rhythm at the start which is really uh, surplus to requirements. Um, so what I've done is I've taken everything off the start except for one snare right at the start. So it starts now just with a snare hit like a, a normal song would. So there we have it. Okay I've written down some notes uh, which I normally do. I've got a little pad here uh, and it's basically just overdub ideas. First thoughts on this was some wah wah guitar, blues licks, organ, synth solo possibly maybe some backing vocals and what I've put an FTG synth line which is my shorthand for fade to grey synth line which is sort of an octave thing uh, so those are some ideas brainstorming that I'm going to try out some of them might work some of them will fall by the wayside so it involves a lot of trial and error um, for example I've got this uh, this sound here which could be a goer that's a possibility but it, I'm not quite sure whether it fits in but that's the kind of thing I've got to keep trying different different types of things so I've had another idea uh, developing I'm going to try this out an idea for a sort of a chugging guitar if at the start not sure whether it fits but uh, you know another go so um, I've tried the sort of grungy guitar riff on uh, Electrosex Boogie and even though it's still in my head I don't think on keyboard it quite cuts it uh, and I think I'll leave the guitar riff to Jeff on this one um, you know, I think that'll be best thing. So, Jeff, you've heard the uh, the riff. That's that's the kind of thing that I'm looking at. I don't know whether you feel the same, but uh, give it a go. So I've had this uh, new idea for sort of a, a synth pulse uh, to go to the start instead of the guitar. So this is uh, this is what I'm going to try now. start so uh, that sounds pretty good actually I'm quite happy with that so I might be working on that I'm not going to overdo it I'm just going to put it in uh, in, the, in the verses and uh, find something else to do for, for the others okay I've just worked out a new synth part 
uh, to go at the start and in the verses and stuff. Um, I'm going to give it a go now. I haven't got it fully worked out yet. So that's uh, that's the bit I've got worked out. It's not fully there yet, but it's getting there. Okay, so uh, I've been working on electro sex boogie a little bit more, and I've got the two basic elements of the synths or the first lot of synths down. One is sort of like a, a bubbly sound, and the other is more of a, a straight synth. And this is how I've, I've sort of uh, got them balanced up pretty well. And this is how it sounds at the moment. I think I've got uh, something to work on. It's just going to be for the verses at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to have a go at that now. Here we go. A run through for the verse. I'm not sure whether I've got the the riff right yet, but uh, I'm going to give it a listen. Okay, so I've had a listen through uh, after adding the guitar riff, and it seems to me that the timing's all wrong. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll let you have a listen to uh, to it mixed in with the track, and I think you'll see that the, the, the actual timing of the riff clashes with some of the keyboard parts. Again, the same problem seems to be coming through with this track is that uh, Sab's voice is getting buried uh, as soon as you add anything and I can't increase Sab's voice without increasing the backing track and uh, I'm beginning to worry about this, the fact that it's, it's a fundamental uh, problem with this particular version of the track. So uh, we might have to have a, a think about, I don't know, doing another version, I don't know, but let's... Uh, Let's see what happens. Uh, here's the deal on Electro Sex Boogie. Uh, it's a great backing track as far as uh, the music and everything, and the vocal take is is a great take, and you know. But the balance is not there, uh, and without me trying to track the vocals and something, which I think is so difficult with this song, uh, because of the you know Sav's mannerisms is is, is Sav's mannerisms and uh, you can only go to reproduce it so much 
Um, I really feel that if we're going to do this track justice that we're going to have to have a rebalancing on the backing track. I don't know whether Sav you can uh, actually whether you've got the backing track without the vocals already there and you know you can redo the vocals a lot louder but uh, I feel that's the only way we can make progress with this track so you know I don't know what you think about that let me know what you think right Sav's asked me to do uh, some tracking on the vocals uh, for Electrosex Boogie so um, I'm just ploughing my way through that doing a high vocal and a low vocal So on, I'll be working my way through the song and uh, getting that finished. Hi guys, uh, welcome to the making of Hollywood Strut uh, 2010 mix. Um, obviously it's an old song and I think we're all pretty familiar with it and uh, it's all one of our favourites. Um, so the question is with this version do we do anything different or do we you know just do the 80 version but better recorded I don't know. Um, I for one am, am, am uh, in, in the start actually uh, putting in more or less what I did on the original recording and then we'll just see where it goes from there if it needs anything extra um, so I'll just uh, take you through uh, the process of uh, Hollywood Strut okay uh, Hollywood Strut um, obviously what we've got to start with is, uh, is Sab's original backing track which we're all pretty familiar with. Um, what I've done to start with is just uh, put in some electric piano to vamp along. So I've some electric piano, I've just vamped along for the verses. Uh, and I've done some uh, synth for the uh, verses as well. So that's uh, I think that's pretty much along the lines of the uh, 1980 version, the same, the same notes. Uh, I'm going to flesh that out with with different overdubs. Uh, that's just a basic synth line at the moment. So that's as far as I've got. Uh, what I'm going to do is obviously flesh out. I haven't worked anything out for the chorus yet. I'm obviously going to fill fill some keyboards in for the chorus, and I'm going to do some backing vocals, some harmonies as as on the original. Uh, so that's to do. So that's it so far. Okay, I'm just going to attempt uh, another synth overdub for Hollywood Strut, so here we go. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm a bit hoarse because I've just been doing some vocals. Um, just as a as a progress report on Hollywood Strut, I've done a few keyboards which are not finished yet, and uh, I've done some backing vocals. Now I'm quite happy with the low backing vocals, but the harmonies, uh, I'm not quite so sure are there yet. And I might need to uh, refer back to the original and just see exactly what was uh, sung then. Um, I don't know whether it's in a different key, but anyway, this is uh, this is what we've got so far. Anyway.
it's the last chorus that uh, the second last you know the last chorus the second one that I'm having problems with it because it goes up another key for one thing and also uh, you know I can't decide whether to sing unison or sing harmony or what harmony to sing so anyway that's the uh, situation so far with Hollywood Strut okay guys welcome to part two of the making of Hollywood Strut uh, 2010 mix 2010 version um, Sav said where's the octave synths so here we go octave synths There we go I'll get them done that'll be the octave synths done uh, and then what I've done as well on the I know that Sav mentioned about the backing vocals I brought them down and, and blended them in a lot more I mean the reason I had them louder in the last film was just really so you could hear them uh, it wasn't the proper level and I've, I've brought them down a bit and they do, do sound uh, I think they sound okay now so I'm happy with them so mix coming in tomorrow it's Saturday at the moment mix coming in tomorrow to do the bass as far as I'm aware okay there's a part in the verse which uh, I've actually done but I don't think it's highlighted enough so I'm going to do another track of it I'm going to do two tracks one left one right it's roughly this part <laughs> Uh, and that's that's emphasizes that melody and I've got it set on piccolo uh, so I'm going to do that now sure it sounds right if it does then we'll we'll get it finished quick rundown we've got uh, Sav's tracks of course there's a couple of Fender Rhodes pianos a couple of synths a couple more synths a bass synth two backing vocals two harmony vocals uh, I've got some cymbals and percussion uh, then two piccolos high and low and then what I call the fade to grey synth which is what Sav asked for in the verses so we've actually got um, one, two, three, six free tracks. So there's 18 tracks used up so so far. We've got mixed bass to go on. So I think Jeff will have five tracks to play with. Okay, I'm just going to add the uh, tambourine, uh, as requested by Sav, onto the track. a bit, bit wrong there but uh, that's the uh, the tambourine what I've done is I've added two tambourines both more or less identical but one was a little puny so I'll put both on just you know overkill <laughs> I've got a new part uh, for the start and the chorus um, so I'm going to try that out now Uh, it's 
sort of a guitar thing to give it some balls to start so we'll see how that works okay I've had to listen back to that uh, guitar idea to give it some balls uh, my opinion is it's balls hi here we are here's Mick um, hi. hi yeah uh, we're gonna have a go at um, Hollywood struck the bass guitar bit obviously because Mick's here um, I'm gonna use a new piece of kit here which is uh, a Samson compressor which I'm trying to get a better sound out of the bass because I've never been happy with the sound of the bass so we'll, we'll give that a go right we're gonna have a run through uh, Hollywood struck with, with Mick on bass how many times have you played that? how many hundreds idiot just drop me in near the uh, no no was that just to practice anyway? Well, uh, let me just um, snip a bass on its own. That's very good. Right. So if you hear it without Sab's track, then you get uh, some idea of what's been added. <laughs> So, you know, I think that's, what do you think, is anything? I think it's great. All right. Yep, it's fine. Um, Jeff's got to do his stuff now. I mean, what he's, he'll probably put guitar on, won't he? Yeah, I mean, it needs, for me, where it needs attention is the chorus. The chorus, definitely, with the guitars ringing, I yeah. think, yeah. And the intro, and the, the, the two, la the, yeah. eight, the eight bars after the chorus. Yeah. Intro, that bit, mm -hmm. but maybe, you know, just following along in the bass. Well, well, I tried to do some power chords on there and it just sounded shit. Didn't no, it? Like pop guitar. Jump for peace, jump, jump, jump for peace, jump, jump, jump for peace, jump, jump, jump for peace, jump, jump. So that was like the chant of right. what they were doing. Yes. So I basically had that chant in mind going on, basically through. So the chant's going on. Yeah. It's it's there in the background and then it comes in at the chorus. Right. That's my idea. So it's basically the, the way they're through it, just getting something to go through it, not being like rap, but more like how like Lennon used to do stuff when he was talking. Yeah, a bit like um, like I just like on the way here, I just I just had some daft came up here. Like, give so, a chance, you yeah, mean? Yeah, like uh, some of the, the lyrics I came up with was uh, Lennon gave us bagism, while Bowie gave us glamism. Everyone tries forms of peace. Let's try to jump, jump for peace. You know, then it goes back into the. Mm. Jump for peace. Jump, so, jump. So it goes basically. It's the same all the way through. Yeah, that that goes on. And then, but, that but you can talk up. over yeah. or sing over that as it's going, mm. and then leave it alone and join yeah. in with the chant for the chorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sort of the idea I've got. Well, that sounds sounds interesting. Yeah. It's just getting the uh, tune and the lyrics. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's already having the idea. Polished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's an idea. It's I'm happy with it. I'm uh, I'm working on it. Right. So that's uh, mix gone now. So that's uh, Hollywood strut. Um, needs to be passed on to Jeff now uh, to see what happens for the final touches hi guys welcome to the making of crazy dreamers um, I've already put the uh, Sav's basic track on, on, on the multi-track uh, and I've added some barrel house piano which you'll probably hear and uh, I've done the vocals which is twin tracked uh, so now I'm what I'm trying to do now is look for a hook or a hook even um, to go in place of a chorus we haven't got a chorus on this um, but I still think it needs maybe a hook that, that people can uh, can relate to amongst all the madness so that's what I'm gonna try and find out now okay I've kind of worked out sort of a synth part I'm not quite sure whether it works but uh, I'm just experimenting at the moment and uh, this is what it sounds like It's a bit 
lad, you know, I'm just trying to work out maybe some random things. So keep working at it. Okay, Sav, so uh, I've had an idea for the break or one of the breaks between the verses. Now, I wanted to show you this and see what you think. If you think it's rubbish, then I'll try something else. But this is what I've got in mind. what I've got in mind you might think it's you know a bit too self-indulgent or what I don't know but uh, see what you think hi guys welcome to the making of uh, Automania aka sex in cars um, so what we've got is um, basically we've got Sav's backing track uh, sounds great I mean it really does uh, there was a couple of minor problems there was some clipping uh, but I actually went put it through a wave lab and did some removals of the, of the little clips literally milliseconds uh, and it man I managed to lose them with a bit of trickery uh, so what I've got we've got the backing track on there what I've done so far is I've added some uh, closed hi-hat Add some closed tie hat I've added. I've also added um, some hand claps. Like that. Uh, and I'm going to add some tambourine as well. Much in the way of this. Along like that. All the way through. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. But uh, So this is what it sounds like. it with a uh, hi-hat and the and the claps in and I'm going to do the tambourine now and I've got some backing vocals I'm going to do which I'll uh, I'll show you later okay I'm uh, just adding some tambourine now to the track We love sex in cars. We love sex in cars. Just trying some uh, backing vocals, harmonies. Uh, I know Sab's done some harmonies, but I'm just uh, accentuating them and, and mixing them up a bit. Sex in cars. Sex in cars. Cars. Right, I'm just uh, doing some backing vocals. I think I've finished now. There's um, six six tracks of backing vocals, I think. Um, so it should be fun. Okay, uh, Automania. I've um, done a, a basic mix of the uh, of what I've done so far. 
I've added the vocals, backing vocals, harmonies and percussion. I've put no keyboards on it yet, uh, but this is how it sounds at this stage. There we have it. I'm going to end it, uh, or well, plan to end it with a, a, a car skid and crash, I think as Sav has suggested, uh, but that's to be done in post-production. So that's it so far. Hi guys, welcome to the making of Dark Star 17. Uh, I'm going to just try and build this one up slowly. It, I think it's got quite a funky feel to it, a quite a slow dance feel to it. So I'm going to do some uh, pretty basic counterpoint clavinet uh, to start with this is my first sort of experiment but I think it sounds okay and I'll try I think I'll try and build up with some percussion and that kind of stuff so here, here's my first go It's a bit of a sort of a funky dirt dirt bit, you know. Uh, see how that works out, how it fits in. Hi, uh, Dark Star 17, right?
Hi guys, uh, yeah, uh, Hollywood Strut. Um, what I've done is I've got the, uh, the, the, the the master from Jeff and uh, I've had an idea for um, some saxophone, two part harmony saxophone, a bit like, I don't know, uh, Lady Madonna, but quite low key, quite, quite in the background because there's obviously enough going on as it is. Um, so this is what it sounds like uh, without the backing track. And, uh, see it's sort of a two part harmony saxophone line uh, comes alive a bit more in the chorus and I push it up a little bit there um, there's there's eight tracks of saxophone because I've uh, I've actually done each section on, on a different track um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix the saxophones into the master tracks uh, hopefully this will be the final one but obviously it'll need uh, signing off by everyone <laughs> There we have it, that's uh, a master mix of uh, Hollywood Strut with the saxophones mixed in, so let's see uh, if everyone likes that. <laughs> it's totally gone, fucking hell. So, Crazy Dream is, is, there's the notes there, it starts off in E, the opening chords in E, and then it's C, D, A, and then oh, C, we'll have to have a go through it and see, see how it sounds, right, I better fire it up then. Is this the Roxy music one? It's the one I'm singing. Yeah, it sounds a bit like yeah. uh, Editions of You. Well, I mean, it's all the 80s, aren't it? Some of the hurt boys dressing hustlers swear. What I like about the, what we're doing is we've got a couple of the old songs. I wouldn't mind doing a couple more old songs, you know. I know. I wouldn't I mind know. doing Success, something like that. But what I like about it is the, the new ones, or the ones that Sav's dug up again, it's as if we've never been away. It's as yeah. if... 
like we'd got we'd went away for a month in 1980 and come back and said right let's write an album that's probably what we would have come up with something similar I like No Lights in the Subway that probably needs yeah a good looking at metal culture is a song that sh should be done properly yeah I don't see why not no uh, we never did it justice because Sav was talking I know that you've seen the thread but Sav was talking about this being like there's no reason why we can't stop once we've done this yeah. but he was saying when we do the next one it would it should be like what we are now rather than trying to recreate the style of then yeah we, we, should we shouldn't have any limits we should say right this is us now yeah and like don't think oh well that doesn't sound 1980-ish you know sort of thing yeah, it's just progress progress forward so then i think this will be our only chance really to do some of the older stuff Now I did that basically so we knew it was accounting. Is this Crazy Dreamers now? Yeah. So we knew when the song starts instead of it just starting. Mm -hmm. But I think it's, I, I, I quite like it to actually be included. I don't know what you think. That's it. Simon Says, stuff like that, really cheesy. It's um, but I think, for, for reference, I, I, I'd see, see it as, as our uh, Rider White Swan. Oh, we have a coffee break, by the way. If you want one, yeah. yeah for me, this is like a hit single. This, I it really is. love it. it the thing about it is, I don't want to corrupt it. You know, like Sam Sam will like it. It'll be too puppy and cheesy. Well, this is what I'm worried about. But what I'm thinking is, I think he's going the wrong way with Velvet and Shea, though, aren't we? Because he's not being rejected out of that. Oh, that's that's forget, forget Velvet and Shea. That's 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 off the agenda. I know, but Jeff's working on it, isn't he? Yeah, but it's a totally new anyway. But for me, Sav was saying, "Oh, well, it, it's it's too nicey nicey. He wants to be a little bit." But for we've got plenty of those. Yeah. You know, we've got Crazy Dreams goes a bit mad, and we've got the new one we're doing is going a bit mad. This is just like two minutes of. Pure Sugar like coated pure pop. Sorry, Holly, it's Hollywood but even Hollywood Strut times ten, and it's like it, it's one of those that people go, oh, "I can't get that out of my head." Yeah. That song, and I don't see why we should corrupt it no. in any way. It's no. it's fully formed as it is. Sav wrote it in five minutes, yeah. and I don't think we should try and pervert it or corrupt it. Just leave it alone as a as a lump of sugar. 
I like the way you know this. I don't know if you're familiar with the start of. Uh, I saw a stand in there on the first Beatles album where it goes one, two, three, four. It just so reminds me. This went soft as this, and I was on the record. They cut the one, two, three off, and all you can hear McCartney say at the start is four. I just thought I'd do the same with this. If you should follow south, you know where he leaves those notes, leave it to, to hang. All right, on the E? Yeah, just on the fourth time. I think it might just sound more. Just yeah, it might just fit in better. I'm worried. Well, I'm not worried, but it doesn't really need to have much more, does it? This is this is the thing. I don't think it needs much more. Well, I didn't contribute much to the neon vampire. Well, I didn't contribute anything, did it? Because it didn't really need it. Um, he did a bit. He did with some some guitar and that. Yeah. No, I mean I didn't. Oh, you didn't. So no. it could be a song that Jeff Jeff doesn't have to if we don't it want. It could to. well be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want it spoiled. I think it's a perfect pop it song. Should be a perfect pop song. The basics. I know. I've tried to keep it really. That's why that. I was trying to. And I listened to the piano and I think. I'm just trying to complicate it. It yeah. doesn't need it. It still might need a couple of little extra touches, but. It's, it, it if you just keep the bass, bump, bump in the guitar there, the, the harmonies, hand claps, the harmonies. The harmonies. You know, it's like. You don't need a lot more. It, if, if we. If we, that's we, you're be, killing the song. The song's there. The, the song's. It's we like sex. You know exactly. What? It doesn't need anything else. No, it's really. got enough hooks there for somebody to hear it first time and go, I can't get that out of my fucking head, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of song it is. And I don't think we should uh, totally resist it. Yeah. It's there, it's what it is. And we should just celebrate the fact that Sav's come up with such a catchy tune. We shouldn't spoil it, for my, in my mind, anyway. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a basic mix of um, Sex and Cars, Automania. Um, just to see what we've got so far. Mix just done the bass, um, so we'll see what we've got. Sex in cars, we love sex. 
doing the slow funky version of Dark Star 17 and I'm just about to add some more funky sort of I'm going to track basically what I've done but uh, a lot dirtier sound just to dirty it up a bit I forgot the limit done a one or two synths on Dark Star 17 and uh, I'm just gonna have a, a listen through to the latest mix just to see how it fits in and whatever
So you can see the main problem is you can't hear Sal's vocals anymore. I mean they're long gone. That's the problem. So I'm gonna maybe try uh, doing some tracking on it on the vocals, but it's a worry for this particular track. I'm gonna have another remix, see if I can get the vocals a little bit clearer. We'll see. Okay, welcome to the making of that dress. Uh, make that dress. Um, I've successfully loaded uh, Sav's backing track and vocals isolated onto the multi-track, so that's worked fine. Uh, and then now I've just I'm just beginning to feel out for the keyboards, get a feel of the song. Uh, there's one particular overdub that I'm doing, which is basically just like a bell sound. It's just going to boost the riff. Uh, and that's just really a starter, just to sort of get us started and then we'll see what happens after that. But uh, I'm just adding that now. start before he starts singing I, I, I don't know whether you think it would be more effective to just do the one note on the first bar bow 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 yeah 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 okay just but do the twos later on when he starts singing but just the first bit it, it, I, I think it might sound more effective okay. try just the one and one and two and then one and two all right then Yeah. 
then two now. Three minutes. This, minutes. This, this, oh, clock's three in, minutes. this clock's in the three minutes, seven seconds, I think. Nice. That's about a minute. But uh, yeah, so I've made a start anyway. I've got to do the other three bits yet. I've got like a, a Bo Diddley drum rhythm for the first bit. Then I've got like this really sickly piano, classical piano thing for the third bit. And then the last bit's. I've got this kind of riff that I'm, I'm going to try and work on. Right. I've been down London for. The, for three days. Sure. Yep, I uh, waited at the court station Saturday, uh, Friday morning, 10 o'clock kickoff. Heard a big bang. Our coach had smashed just outside, just coming up the ramp. Guy came up, said, Your coach has crashed. Um, it's going to be about an hour's delay before we find a new coach. Okay. So I went downstairs in the bus station, there's this fucking 
little sandwich shop place so I got a chicken wrap out of there to have at that travel down start feeling a bit queasy on the night went to the pictures to see uh, Chris Morris's new film Four Lines but half an hour in I said to Steph I said I'm going to float the toilet I feel fucking shit went the yes uh, and the rest um, sat in the cinema toilet for two hours while the rest of the film went on I couldn't move I was white as a sheet didn't throw up or anything I just felt like shit mm. came out of there went down to the uh, tube to get the last tube on and I fucking wretched I threw everything up that bloody chicken wrap on it so if the coach hadn't have crashed I wouldn't have had that sandwich and I would have been alright <laughs> song there and, it, and you're missing out on the bass you know during all the verses which is for most of the song yeah and it sounds good the, what you're doing it's great but it still needs the bass yeah, so i'll have to work it out on the top and then wouldn't it Thank <laughs> you. 
Cool. Well, you can play around with that now for another track. Yeah. Well, I need, I need to put, I need to mix that dress, uh, the two dark stars. Finish off crazy dreams. Are we doing mechanic?
the end! <laughs>
Too fast.